It started with a step followed by a trot. We learned to gallop. Then it got mechanical. At first it was to survive. It was all about the destination, but that changed when the journey started to get fun. I'm Julian Taylor, and these are my friends, Sam and Jen. If it has a motor, we will ride it, drive it, or fly it, and compete to win. It's not always about where you go, it's how you get there. It's We're at the Land Cruiser Heritage Museum in Salt Lake City in Utah, and this place is incredible. It's got every make and model of Land Cruiser. We have international models. We have big Antarctic models. This place has it all. So, Jen, what is it with you and education? You always keep bringing me to museums. Well, first of all, I'm in a history buff. Second of all, this is a car show. Maybe we should learn things about Things with motors. Well, how come I keep getting lumbered with it? Where's Sam? How come he's not getting lumbered? I don't know where he's at. Actually, he called me just a bit ago saying he's held up. So really? he's being a bit cryptic. I don't know. He should be here soon. Normally, he's on time, and Julian's the one running late, and now the tables have turned. I'm a little concerned. Yeah, we get to education. There's no Sam. He skips the whole thing. Nobody sees him. Nobody knows where he is, and I have to go and take the majority of Jen's gavel. You're not supposed to lift the bonnet. Hey, when have I ever stay on the right side of a <laughs> of a, a rope in a museum? Oh, look at this! And what we got going on here? First of all, oh. it's a three-speed manual gearbox, as really? you would say. Yeah. Three-speed manual gearbox. Yeah, and it's got 135 horsepower, and I believe it's a 2F inline six. Actually. Oh. You got almost everything right, but it's actually a, this is an F. This is a F-135 to be exact. The 2F was 1975. And you would know that how? Because I work for Toyota. I'm Josh Burns. I'm with Toyota Product Communications, specifically on the trucks and body on frame SUVs. Tell us more, <laughs> hi. Well, I, you guys have already enjoyed some of the museum <laughs> and broke a few rules along the way, but there's actually a few things I want to show you guys. Right. So come check this out. Follow you. All You're right, in control. lead the way. This. Stranger comes out of nowhere and is trying to correct me, but turns out he works for a Toyota, so I guess he would know what he's talking about. <laughs> when he came up behind us and made us jump, but he corrected her on what she was saying, I thought that was hilarious. All right, well, now that I'm not uh, over your shoulder... And there is a face underneath there. Yeah, <laughs> I know, believe it, believe it or not. So, I had a couple things I wanted to show you. This is a Hilux. This was part of the Expedition 7 traveled the entire globe. We have a bunch of pretty awesome vehicles in here. And these are the ones that are souped up and modified in Iceland. Why was it modified in Iceland? Is it going somewhere really cold then? Is that the idea? Yeah, this, this made it to the South Pole, and, and those are South Pole tires, as you would imagine. So this truck has gone as far south in the world? Well, that's the thing. Toyotas have been on adventures all around the world. I have one more adventure, and oh, I'd like did? to send you guys on. So for this little adventure, we're going to have the whole crew in our lineup of 2021 TRD Pros in the new lunar rock color. Specifically, we have the Tacoma, the Forerunner, and the Tundra. So the TRD, we're talking Toyota Racing Development here. We're talking about the guys that are behind the cars going as fast as they physically can and putting the engineering into the everyday trucks. They are, yep, absolutely. Oh, I love it. Yeah, and so you might be happy to learn that the new TRD has a Tacoma with a six-speed gearbox. Are you telling me I've got a six-speed manual gearbox <laughs> to drive around for three days? Maybe. Right here. <laughs> Oh, it's real driving. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going. So, See you later. Bye. Right. Uh, well, he's off. Yeah, I don't I don't even know what to say about him, but what about me? What do you have in store for me? I have one of my favorite vehicles in the world. So this is the Forerunner TRD Pro. Oh. You have a four liter V6 in that, and you have a host of off-road goodies, crawl control, locking rear diff. So you're gonna love that thing and it's gonna get you there in style. Perfect. And it has a lot of room in case I have to pick him up if he does anything to your car, but. Anyway, uh, okay, I'm gonna go check on Julian. Being the good friend that I am, I thought Julian would really enjoy being in the Tacoma, but I had no idea that he would squeal like a six-year-old girl. So Sam, whenever he gets here, he's gonna be in the Tundra, and that's got our most impressive 5.7 liter V8 engine. So we've set up some challenges along the way. Whoever wins, gets some chips. Whoever has the most chips at the end is the winner. These guys have planned a real adventure for us, starting in Salt Lake City, Utah, making our way through the mountains into Little Moab, where we'll do some rock crawling. Then we'll keep heading through all sorts of terrain until we end up in Las Vegas. All right, 
So we've got three trucks here. Yeah, let's do it. But where's Sam? Oh, I don't know, but we guess we have to wait for him. Well, if he's not here, then he naturally gets disqualified. Let's do it without him. Can't whoa, drive two whoa, trucks whoa, 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 ah. not so fast. Oh, I'm not getting disqualified. What happened to you? What do you do? Oh, uh, yeah, about that. So what happened was I was mountain biking, <laughs> And there was a big triple, and I hit the triple, and I whipped it sideways, and it just didn't work out so good on the landing. So Basically, mm. I destroyed my shoulder. You fell when you got out the bath or something. <laughs> no, no, it, it was on a mountain bike. It wasn't as good of a story as that, but yeah, I crashed. My shoulder's shot. I can't drive. So if you can't drive, then the rules of the game are that you've got to have either a Taylor, a Barlow, or a Nimi drive, yeah. and you can't drive, so you're disqualified. Sorry, mate. Well, slow down. I was worried about that. I really did think about it, and I definitely can't drive. The one arm's not going to work but I have a backup plan. You Meet do? Ariana Nimi. There's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> oh. My name's Ariana Nimi, and I'm here to save the day. I had no choice. I had to bring the backup. I'm not going to call it quits. I know that's what Julian expects. Nimi legacy. We're here to win. I'm really concerned for you, because you're going to get beat by two girls now. Uh, what I want to know as well is, where are you going to be? Are you going to oh, sit and I'll be ride sitting in the, the passenger seat. It looks really comfortable, and I'll be navigating. You'll be coaching Doing me. Nothing. I'll coach her. <laughs> I just have to know. Are you a good driver like your dad? I am the female version of him, but I'd have to say I'm a bit faster, I think. Oh, <laughs> faster. I She's like her already. already. Yeah. Hey, racing is in the blood. So where are my keys? Here you are. Wait a minute. No. I'm going to go burn some rubber. <laughs> this right. is going to be hilarious. This is going to be good. Well, this was all unexpected, and I appreciate you coming through for me last minute because I was not about to forfeit, and there was no way I was going to come out here and not be ready to battle. So I appreciate you coming out and representing the Nimi family for me. Everything you've said about Julian and Jen have been true. They're a great competition. When we get there, um, my bets are all on you, and I'm going to be in the passenger seat enjoying the ride. You know, it's funny. I've always been all about big trucks and never really paid attention to how big the Tundra really is. And, and how it compares. I get it. I mean, driving a truck is totally different for me. I feel like I'm in my car. Right. Smooth, normal. It's got a great dash and big screen and all the bells and whistles that you would think you know, only cars have, but yet they've done a great job with this truck. I'm a huge 4Runner fan. My entire family are fans of the 4Runner. So now it comes full circle. I'm in the 2021 4Runner TRD Pro. It looks aggressive four liter v6 engine 270 horsepower plenty of torque which will come in handy when we're going off road and rock crawling this little truck can go anywhere the whole front grill has a really unique feel to it the new color that is just for this year is remarkable 278 horsepower i got 265 pounds of torque the technology in here for the radio and Bluetooth and all that is all very much state of the art. The reverse is left hand and up, and first is left hand and up. I'm going to have to be careful of that. It could catch me out. So we're here in Little Moab, and we have this pretty impressive rock crawling course here. It's going to challenge the vehicles and the drivers. So here we have the rock crawl challenge. So this will be a time trial. So whoever gets to the top fastest will win the challenge. The trails are all marked with cones. You have to stay within the cones to not lose any points. You get deducted if you go outside of the trails. And there are two different paths that you can take. So depending on which line you feel will be the fastest, you'll have to find what you think the quickest line is to get up. We have a team of off-road experts here with us that are going to help with spotting, helping with the proper line selection, and hopefully to make sure that they don't bang up these trucks too much. So I have chips here for you. Three goes to first place, two to second, and one to third. And Ariana, since you were the first one here, I'm going to give you a bonus chip for being the fastest Thank one. Thank you. To Little Moab. You better take a good look, because this is the only one you're going to get to see up close. Oh. This is not right already. Oh, this is just not yeah. right already. I've got two of you against me. All right, so who's going first? I'm going to go first. Of oh. course. So you think you'll let the ladies go first? No, it's two against one. I'm, I'm the only bloke here now, because you've given up and sit there with your sore arm. Well, we better watch from a distance, <laughs> yeah. so That's let's back up a little Keep bit. Keep your chip in your pocket. <laughs> the stakes are set, and we're ready to start the race. And of course, Julian wants to go first. He got to go first, show us how it's done. But uh, in true fashion, Julian goes full speed ahead in reverse. 
perfect. You can't make this stuff up. The first thing is Julian goes in reverse. You always things. told me he's not the one I need to worry about. They put reverse gear here, and they put first gear here. So if you go too far left slightly, it goes straight into reverse. Go out that quickly and get going. Straight away, the control of this little pickup gets you straight away up the hill. Then took that right hand bend, watch for my spotters. I realized then I had to, to put in uh, the differential lock. So I locked the back up so that back right hand wheel would catch as well. And then literally I had all four of them driving me up that hill and it went up like a rocket. Fantastic. My time's brilliant, I know it is. So Jen starts flying up the hill, and she's done it before. She's done a lot of rock crawling, even as a kid. Starting off the race, I'm feeling very confident because I'm a steady driver. Easy squeezy, don't take out the cones. And I also have a little secret weapon in my back pocket. I have the crawl control. Julian also has it. Had he taken the automatic transmission, but because he was so keen on having the six-speed manual gearbox, mate. Well, sorry, you didn't get the crawl control. It's Ariana's turn. She is off the line and speeding out of here like a bat out of hell. So I start off strong and aggressive, but I wanted to go right because that's what Julian did. No, stop, stop, stop. You can't go this way. You have to go the other way. You got to back up. You have to go that way. As the co-pilot, I knew going to the right was not the right way to go. I know Julian did it. Our truck was longer. Our truck was wider. I did the math. I am a co-pilot here. And with the wheelbase being so long, we could have gotten stuck there. But that was the faster way. We would have never made it. Congratulations, welcome back. That was a lot of fun, I have to say. Julian, you had an impressive run. Two minutes, 52 seconds. All right. Yeah, not, not bad. bad. Uh, Ariane and Sam, here we go. you guys had a very strong run as well, but I know you slowed up a little bit with arguing, so three minutes and 10 seconds. All right, Jen came in here with the time of two minutes and 32 seconds. Wow. They're oh, the yeah. winner. Good job, Jen. And give you? me a high five. I, 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 give me I would. One of those, how's that? <laughs> three chips for you. Thank for the win. you. Julian. Thank two you, for you. you. Ariana and Sam, I mm, better hand it to her. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is because of you. Here we are, done with our first challenge. And I don't like to brag, but I've collected three chips. So sky's the limit as far as I'm concerned. I'm just going to keep breezing through these challenges and collecting those chips. So I got two chips. That's going to be fun in Vegas. However, I know where I messed up. It was the very beginning. I lost one chip to Ariana, so fair enough. Um, but next time, I'm getting all three, guaranteed. So I only got one chip from the challenge, thanks to you. But Josh gave me a chip for being the first one here, so me and Julian are pretty much tied. Next expedition has a little adventure, so from here, we're heading to our campsite. Campsite. Camping. Campsite? Um, you do realize the Mimis, they don't really camp. You didn't say anything about camping. Listen, I had no idea we were going camping, or I wouldn't have signed up for this. Don't worry, I'll make sure everything's okay. That wasn't part of the deal. It wasn't part of the deal. Well, see you guys in the morning. I'll take care of it. It'll be fine. When we got here last night, Julian and I were setting up camp. Sam is nowhere to be found. I kind of figured Frankly, that he and Ariana got a hotel room. I get out of my tent, and lo and behold, we got Sam, I'm surprised he didn't bring his apron, cooking breakfast with a full-on spread. What are you doing here? Good what morning. You here? Excuse me, I slept on a rock last night. What is going on? If they would have told me there was camping involved in this trip, I would have never have done it, and I surely wouldn't have brought her, because she definitely doesn't camp. But if we're gonna camp, we're gonna do it right, we're gonna do it in style. So we did it in Nimi style. Oh, breakfast? You got even more breakfast. Oh, that's your breakfast? Uh, yeah, let me oh. put this over here. The good news is this truck is loaded with off-road focus suspension, and even with that, I'm not sacrificing anything. It still does everything I needed to do. I have my daughter here. I had to do it right. I told her I'd take care of her, so I loaded up the Tundra. And... She wasn't impressed with camping yesterday. That was very obvious. Yeah, but I think she's impressed now. If I had to sleep in one of those sad little blue tents, I would be gone. First flight out of here. I know it. So when did you do all this? Uh, last night. What'd you guys expect? You came straight here. I took the Tundra, went to the local store, loaded it up, and brought all this. You had the big truck, too, so you get everything in it. That, that, that makes absolute sense. Well, the like payload capacity is unbelievable. All this fit in there and more. She wanted to stop and, what, load up four-wheelers and jet skis? I wanted him to bring the trailer with all the toys, jet skis, side-by-sides, ATVs, but 
this will have to do for now. Being out here, you should have brought a jet ski. We had some great fun on that this morning. Yeah. So can we have some breakfast? Because all I've got is this power bar thing. I know. What do you think, Ariana? Sure, they can have breakfast, but it's going to cost you guys. Cost Ooh. us? Cost us. All about One business. One chip, each of you. One chip? I've only got two. It's all about business <laughs> with my daughter. Oh. It's all about the competition. Uh, I'm starving. It's well worth it. Thanks. You can I just want some of that tea. Thank you. So how would you like your eggs? She's definitely got that business blood running through her veins. I mean, she's cut through. 50% of my profits going to a cup of Charlie. It doesn't make sense. Of course I charge them. This is a competition. We're just trying to win. Pleasure doing business with you guys. Get my eggs my way. That's what I would How like. How would you like them? I'd like two eggs sunny side up on wheat toast with bacon and some ketchup, please. And you? Anything warm. So this camping trip wasn't so bad? Yeah, I guess it wasn't. You did create the father-daughter camping trip that I never asked for, though. Ouch. So these guys have got a lot of stuff to load up, an awful lot of gear. I've got a tent and a truck, and I'm out of here. Well, that was a very interesting breakfast. I'm not sure value for money is worth 50% of my profits at the moment. But uh, I'm just going to get out of here now, guys. We've got things to do. So I'll see you later. What is he doing? Look at him. What, is he running away, fleeing? I think he's trying to get out of here first, sneak out so he can uh, get ahead. Oh, <laughs> there goes the tent. <laughs> what a grand exit. left the campsite, and Julian, he dashed out of there. Tent flew out of the back. He was adamant that he was going to get to the race site first. Julian, of course, got in there and wanted to use his uh, early departure from camp this morning to his advantage. But I did want everybody to bunch up and actually have a, a real fair race. What was that all about? It was first out, first here. I got pole. That's what I want. So this is the last challenge, right. OK? Final. Baja-style desert race, OK? We're going to head through this canyon here. It's a little bit tighter trail, some big whoops. You got to keep the tires on the ground, stay out of the bushes. We're going to end up on the other side of the mountain in a dry lake bed. All right, let's get lined up. Final let's race. Do let's do it. All right. He gets us set up to start out, and it's immediately thrust into a whoop section. I mean, it started off really nasty. Conditions were really rough. Uh, a lot of whoops, a lot of uh, hard corners. I launched myself. I'm not going to lie. I felt a little jerk back and forth, but I had to keep up with Julian. I was on his tail. He kicked up a huge dust storm, and I was like, whoa, I can't see in front of me. If Wild Man hits the brakes, I'm going to be in his rear end. They got they got pretty nasty through there. Then coming out of the stretch, you know, we're trying to battle. Jen was right in front of us, and we saw Julian getting away. I knew it was cutthroat at the very end. We were all neck to neck at one stage, but I thought between Ariana and Jen, they're going to get into a battle because that little Tacoma of mine with the manual gearbox and the power it had, it was a quick little three and a half liter V6, and it really did move. It was crazy because it was so insanely dusty, I could hardly see what was in front of me. We came up to a tight corner. We immediately did a 90 degree turn, and then it was off to the finish line. It was a good race. I put out a challenge for you all. You guys rose to the occasion. Now that we finished the final challenge, let's tally up those chips. All right, I have three in total. So I got three for this race he because I came first. Give him the total. He doesn't care what race. And he already I got knows. got one for the other race. Well, I actually got two so you for have the other four. race. Because I came second on the other one. So but you got four. But I've only got four. So you have four. Well, he has I had four. five. Okay. Okay. Well, anyways, I have six. What, six? Exactly. So I guess that makes six. me the winner. That's you're the winner. There you go. Whoa, That's what how, it looks like. Well, how do we get there? She robbed them for breakfast. This morning, I was starving hungry, and she took it from her dad. The negotiation of, she was picking That's on business. people that was starving like hungry. Like I said, business is business. I can't knock you for your entrepreneurial spirit. So clearly, you've learned from your father, both driving and with business sense. But the winner of the overall challenge is Julian for his first possible? and second place. What are you talking about? Blow it. The chips I speak for themselves. The chips are still yours, but based on the finishes alone, Julian took the day. There you go. That's so not fair. Once again, That's cheaters That's win. I just want to point out, I didn't cheat or steal. I didn't cheat. And you still didn't win. And I still didn't win. So <laughs> what did I learn from this? <laughs> I need to up my game. So Ariana, all jokes aside, 
I want to thank you for stepping in and bailing your old man out. Oh, thank you. At the end thank of the day, you. he did such a better job than he would have done. And you got all the chips too. <laughs> what? I'm actually going to give my chips to my dad. Thank you. Not because I'm sweet or anything. I'm just not 21 yet. So we've all got a ton of chips. We've got to make it to Vegas, to the strip. And double this tonight. Why not, eh? Yep. Remember how I told you? Goes the show? I got you. Bring it in. It's not always about the destination. It's, it's how, how you get, get there. there. Come on, let's go make some money, guys. Make some money. Right. Right. I won the last race, and I came second in the first race. That Tacoma deserved the badge. I really appreciate you backing me up. It means a lot to me. I'm glad that Jen, Julian, Sam, and Ariana got to test the new 2021 TRD Pros. I am taking my chips, and we are hitting the strip to celebrate.